Hey guys, this is Sports Stuff Reviews, and first off, you're probably wondering why I'm pointing a shaking camera at a crappy little screen. Well, that's because I'm using my phone to record on an iPad. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but I'm going to show you some, you guys some cool stuff. Um, I'm going to be showing you the future stuff that Under Armour is going to be coming out with towards uh, April and such, and um, no, I did not rip off UA Reviews. If you're watching this UA Reviews, I didn't rip you off, I'm sorry. Anyway, if you don't know who I'm talking to, or if he's even seeing this, by the way, um, just go check out UA Reviews' channel. He pretty much has ten times better quality videos than mine. And the screen just went dim for a second, so I fixed that. Anyway, he has a video just like this, except better, so go check that out if you're uh, going to watch this video. I'm just pretty much going to be covering the gloves and just some of the new stuff they're coming out with in general. Um, yeah, so, here. They're coming out with the the F3s again, the Under Armour F3 gloves. I don't like them. Well, they're just because they're more like a wide receiver glove, kind of thin, kind of flimsy, kind of seem like, to me, they always seem like they've kind of, they're, I don't have a pair personally, but a lot of my friends have them. They're wide receivers and defensive backs and cornerbacks, so if you're a skill physician such as that, I recommend these gloves, but um, I just don't like them personally. They kind of seem like they tear easily. And uh, here's the UA Attack glove. Yeah. Uh, never really saw much of this last year. Um, but they're going to be coming out with that again. So, yeah. Yeah, the F3, the reason, I don't know, it just has a lot of colors for some reason. Yeah, there. There's the Attack. So, let me go into the next page and show you guys some more stuff real quick. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> We're on to the next page. And let me zoom in real quick because this is um, far back. It's the UA Renegade glove. And I've never heard much about this before. But it um, looks pretty good. And it's going to be retailing at like $45. So not too bad. Not too bad. But uh, it's got like this weird color scheme type stuff. And um, it's got red and black and black and black and white and black and blue and black and gray and black. It's just pretty cool color scheme right there. Uh, $45. I don't know much about them. Just, they're just coming out in April. I might be getting some of these gloves but um, to review and stuff. They're the UA F Fierce 4s. Uh, I don't like the Fierce 4s. I like the Fierce 3s. If you're looking at Fierce gloves in general, get the Fierce 3s. Just my personal opinion. I did a review on them in the past. Pretty good gloves. I like them a lot. Uh -huh. My favorite gloves I've ever had so far. Um, these are the Combat 3s. These are some new line, or not, well, yeah, they're just the upgraded version of the UA Combat 2s that came out in 2012, maybe, I don't know. I just know it wasn't too long ago they came out. I had a pair of UA Combat 2s, I think. Yeah, yeah, I had UA, UA Combat 2s, but they were stolen, so I never had to do a review on them. And uh, the full fingers are, oh, yeah, the Fierce Gloves are $50, not worth it, by the way. Um, These are... Uh, $55, and the other is $50 for the no-finger version. Cut-off finger. I mean, pay the extra $5 to get the full fingers. I mean, why? I don't I don't like the gloves like that. And this is the UA Storm Grip glove, so I'm guessing it's going to be waterproof like the Storm uh, hoodies and Storm um, other things they've been coming out with lately. Uh, just uh, clothing. Waterproof, basically, is all it means. And uh, here's the UA Playoff Cold Gear Glove, which is just... I, I mean, I've, I was looking at those, but they didn't seem too interesting to me. Because, I mean, I live in Alabama, you know, so it's hot. And uh, even in the winter, it's not too cold. So it's not like we play football with gloves in the winter anyway. So if you do, I mean, clap, clap for you. Congratulations. But I don't, so yeah. Um, these, oh yeah, the Storms, $50. These are $50 as well. Uh, da, da. The Cold Gear Sideline Glove. That would... I don't really know. Uh, I guess... Well, it says right here, engineered for the player or the coach, the sidelines needing with warmth, with dexterity, and minimal bulk. Yeah, so I'm just guessing that's more of like a coach glove, not more of a fo actual football glove. And, whoa, I'm pointing at the wrong thing. There we go. There you go. Um, and lastly, one thing that UA Reviews got really excited about, and that I'm really excited about because I'm most likely going to be buying it in April, is glove juice. Glove juice. It's supposed to... No, This is no more spit, no more mess. UA glove juice. 
is the new solution for dirty gloves. Simply squirt a little in your gloves, hand and rub them together. A cleanser and replenishes football glove grip to maximum performance on every play. And it is ten doll ten dollars for two ounce bottle. Uh, worth it, a guy. Worth it, guys. Um, guys, 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 <laughs> and gals, if you're watching, anyway. Uh, I'd totally recommend it. I'm getting some, most likely, to see if it works. Well, my old gloves that I had, the grip was tarnished on them fairly easily, and I wish they would have had. I would have had something like this previously, or I wish I had known about something like this so I could get it on there. But I'm gonna be going on to the next stuff. Oh crap! Okay, there we go. Fixed it. <laughs> Oh, this is just going back into the mouth guards and stuff. They're going to be... Da, da, da. Da, da, da. The three different kinds. Basically, minimal protection, medium protection, and maximum protection, I guess you could say. And there's the little bands that connect them to your helmet. And there's antibacterial spray to spray on them. And then there's, like, a pack of three different things, and then there's the case to keep germs from getting, I mean, but who uses that seriously, and, uh, there's the forearm pads, and the forearm shivers, shivers are kind of useless to me, and I don't think we're allowed to use them in my, uh, in my middle school football, so, I don't know, I wouldn't get them if I were you, well, if I was me, I wouldn't get them, this is just going out with, going over the cup, yeah, everyone likes a cup anyway, um, here's the, new chin straps they're having. I think UA Reviews did a review on the Armor Fuse, so go check that out. I have one of these, but I'm not going to do a review on it until I see how it performs during football season, because I got it at Christmas. And here are a lot of chin pads. Just a lot of different colors showing off their new colors and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, here's the bands, the the performance wristbands, the oversized performance wristbands, the UA Mesh skull cap, the UA Original skull cap. One of my friends used one of these and he was pretty satisfied with it. I, I'm just not a fan of stuff like that. And here's the duffel bags and the towels and the, the backpacks and the little sling bags, that type of crap that a lot of kids like to use and stuff. <laughs> anyway, well, this is pretty much getting to the stuff that, uh, I guess I could finish it off real quick. Um, six ninety five, five ninety five, four ninety five, three ninety five, and then the the yellow and black one that some of my friends have. I have the three ninety five ball, and it's the cheapest one. It's supposed to be like the lowest quality one. Three ninety five is the lowest out of six ninety five, five ninety five, four ninety five, and three ninety five. But I like it. It's my favorite football that I've ever had out of my Nike, my Rawlings, my Wilson, which everyone knows Rawlings sucks anyway. Um, I like it a lot. So, there you go. I have a video on it, too, if you want to check that out. And here's some hats and crap and more hats. And socks. Um, they're coming out with the new over-the-calf socks with the tons of different new colors. And then there's the Performance Crew. There's the over-the-calf socks, the Performance Crew right there. Um, um, my, 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 my. Here's the wristband socks. And... What is this called? Charged cotton no show. Yeah. I have some of those, but not the cotton. I have the polyester version of these. And uh, I did a review on them, if you want to check that out. Um, and then there's visor. I did a review on my visor. Go check that out. <laughs> and then here's the new colors and decorations. And that was the Under Armour Performance Fall Winter 2013. New stuff they're coming out with. That's well, just about half of it, but I didn't want to have a majorly long video, so if you enjoyed the video, um, click the like button. If you hated the video, click the dislike button. I mean, I, I need to know if I'm doing something wrong. Comment, help me uh, so much. So uh, if you really, really like the video, just uh, subscribe. So uh, go over to UA Reviews channel right now and go watch the better version of the video I just made. Anyway, see you later. This has been Sports Stuff Reviews.